Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 24. Hey, actually, this one has nothing to do with Excel. This one, in this video, I want to show you how to cancel units in fractions. Now, this is actually one of your homework problems. It says, uh, and we're not going to do all the steps uh, for solving application word problems, but we are going to look at canceling units. It costs one and a quarter cents, so a quarter of a penny per minute to run the hair dryer. How much does it cost to run it for 20 minutes? Now, after you set this problem all up, what do you do? You simply take the cost times the time. But we want to do this in a certain way to see uh, how to cancel units. Now, I'm going to start. It, and I want you to remember this right here, per. That translates directly into what? Division. So I'm going to write it this way. One quarter penny per one minute. Let me try this over here. Wait a second. I was using the wrong. So, so one quarter penny. One quarter penny per minute. Now I put the one minute in it. That's what it means. But notice now we have a unit. We have cents and minutes, right? So units are important uh, when doing any calculation in uh, business math. But up here we have money. It happens to be cent, and here we have minute. Now we're going to multiply it. Well, what are we multiplying? Um, one quarter cent per minute times 20 minutes. Well, 20 minutes is just 20 minutes, right? But we could, I'm going to choose to write my minutes. I hope I spelled that right this way. I could just put 20 minutes, but is it OK to put 20 minutes divided by 1? You betcha. Now, here's the deal. If I change the color here, the reason our answer comes out in cents or amounts of money and not some weird mix of minutes and pennies is because just like when we have prime factors and we cancel them. When you have units, there's a minute in the top and a minute in the bottom. And so they cancel. So this becomes, I change this back over here. This becomes one quarter, I say one quarter of a penny divided by one times 20 divided by 1. So now we just do a straight calculation. OK, so now we can come over here. I'm actually going to uh, rewrite this. I'm going to get one of, rid of the 1 there. So I get 1 fourth cents times, and I'm not going to write the 1. I'm just going to write 20. Now anytime you have, or actually, I am going to put the 1, keep that there. Because anytime you have two fractions like this, you just multiply across. So it's 1 times 20 cents divided by 4. And 20 divided by 4 is what? 5 cents. So um, this is part of one of your homework problems. But the, the important point here was to, to show you that you can actually cancel. Now, most of us can could have done this in our head. We know that the result is just an amount of money. But this is technically how it works. Anytime you have fractions like this, and there's some unit in the top and the bottom, just like prime factors, you can cancel them. All right, see you next video.